like to welcome you to the 2022 Atlantis University Commencement Ceremony. Sean sentados, por favor. Please have a seat. Philosopher Lotso once stated, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a small step. Every single one of us begin our journey in life taking one small step and where the road would walk upon Lucas, ultimately dependent on the path we choose. Our graduate choose path that led them through the academia halls of Atlantis University. And proudly today, they are taking a quick break on their journey to celebrate and reflect on a road travel and filled with success. I would like to invite the Chancellor, Board of Directors, authorities, faculty, and staff of Atlantis University to join us in this magnificent celebration. Thank you. I would, like, I would like to ask you to please stand up for the presentation of the colors. Color guard, please enter the stage. The U.S. flag is the emblem of the American nation. Many in this concert hall are, international or are of the international origin. Those of you of foreign descent have been blessed and embraced by the opportunities of our that our country offers to the youth of the world, opportunities you were and continue to be granted through the authority invested by our government in the great university. 
So, because we are thankful and appreciative of such opportunities, let us show our respect to the flag and to the United States of America by standing and joining me and my fellow American citizens in this hall as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance of, and the United States of America National Anthem. First, we'll, we'll start with the pledge. This is for all American citizens. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the republic to which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now we would like to introduce our singer. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. Thank you. You may all take your seats at this time. We thank and recognize the United States Marine Corps Color Guard, Sergeant Christian Resnan, Sergeant Alejandro Pineda, Sergeant Kevin Cabrera, and Corporal Orestes Fernandez Figueroa for the presentation of the colors this afternoon. Also, we'd like to thank and recognize Ms. Rebecca Jorigi for her beautiful performance of her national anthem. Thank you, that was absolutely beautiful. And thank you to the wonderful Stream Quartet joining us today. Please share a round of applause in appreciation. <laughs> and, we, and we hope to continue to count on your inspicable, I'm sorry, impeccable performance for many more years to come. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our academic dean, Dr. Mia Bert Stewart. Dr. Stewart, please come to the podium. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. It is again another year, another opportunity, another evening that I get to stand before graduates, families, colleagues, speakers, guest speakers, and in addition this year, our program advisory committee members. It is an absolute honor and pleasure and every year I feel more and more connected 
to the work that we are doing at AU, but more importantly, I feel more and more connected to you because you choose to pursue academic excellence at Atlantis University. And without you, we couldn't do what we do. Without you, there would be no AU. And so now, you've reached a milestone. It's time for what we call that next level. I think some of you have seen me walking throughout the building with my big bag of popcorn this tall. And what do I say when I pass out the popcorn? Go big or go home. And so you're graduating today. You've chosen to go big. And so with that, we have a responsibility that will continue beyond this point because we hope that you will continue to be a part of the Alumni Association. But now you have an even greater responsibility, not on the local level in Miami, not on the national level in the United States, but on the global level. Whether you choose to stay here in the United States or whether you choose to go back to your country. It is now your responsibility to take what we have imparted in you and to make a difference. Make a difference in the lives of those in your home. Make a difference in the lives of those in your community. Make a difference in the lives of those that are surrounding you, those that are putting into you, those that are looking up to you. You now have a greater and a bigger responsibility to perform. If there is anything at Atlantis University we hope that you walk away with, it is the fact that we cared and we gave it our all. And so when we hear about you and when we see you again, we hope it is because you are representing not only what we have poured into you, but that you are representing what you hope to see beyond what you have gained at Atlantis University. And so again, you've reached the end of this journey. It's, it's now time for that next level. And so from here, you either do what? Go big or? and you've chosen to go big. We hope to see you beyond this point as an active member of the Alumni Association. We hope to see you beyond this, beyond this point as successful entrepreneurs in the business community, whether you choose to climb the corporate ladder, whether you choose to grow a small business, whether you choose to continue in your family business. We hope to see you beyond this point maximizing and making a contribution because it's what we have poured into you and we only want to see you deliver on the level and on the scale that you owe you. If there's ever anything that we can do for you back here at Atlantis University, we ask that you not think twice about calling on us. If we can make calls for you, if we can help direct you, if we can help you in navigating career-wise, whether you tap into us specifically, if there's a particular educator, or whether you are engaged through the Alumni Association, that's what we are here for. It doesn't stop just because you get the diploma. Again, we hope that you are ready for that next level and that you give it all that it takes. Congratulations, Atlantis University graduates, class of 2022. My name is Juan Cruz Torres. I am Atlantis University Vice President and also Director of Admissions.
and I have the honor of being your masters of master of ceremony this evening. For over a decade, Atlantis University has been holding graduation ceremonies to honor its graduates. We have had a rich tradition that continues today as we recognize our graduates for their accomplishment, our faculty for their dedication, and our great staff for their commitment. We honor all of you today, and we honor the diversity of the individuals that surround us this evening. Damos la bienvenida a todos los presentes que representan todos los países de nuestros estudiantes hoy día. The countries represented by our 2022 graduation class includes Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Colombia, Cuba, Chile, China, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, France, Haiti, Honduras, Jamaica, India, Italy, Jordan, Libya, Mexico, Nepal, Nigeria, Peru, Puerto Rico, <laughs> Romania, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Serbia, Syria, Spain, Uzbekistan, Venezuela, and of course, the United States of America. Our graduates choose AU to obtain their degree, but they also gain a wealth of knowledge in culture, values, and customs that will embrace and master through their professional practice in future endeavors. We trust that you graduates will forever have stories to share about your time at your alma mater, Atlantis University. To move on with this beautiful ceremony, I now have the pleasure to introduce our distinguished members of Atlantis University faculty attending this ceremony. Please stand and remain standing, faculty for the School of Business. Please stand up, faculty for the School of Business. Faculty for the School of Computer Science and Technology. Faculty for the School of Engineering. Faculty for the School of Healthcare. And faculty for the School of Education. Thank you. This is your moment too. Congratulations for the job well done. Class of 2022 and faculty, being your teachers, mentors, and supporters during your time at AU, let's take a moment to recognize them and their contribution to your success. Thank you. You may be seated. Oh, you are sitting. You bid me to it. We're we're ahead, we're, we're moving ahead. <laughs> now, graduates and guests, please 
stand to acknowledge the members of Atlantis University Board Directors, Chancellor, please stand up, academic deans, school chairs, academic staff, and special guests with us this afternoon. Thank you. Please, I would like everybody to please stand up and remain standing to welcome our first guest speaker. Uh, Major General Rafael A. Rivas, Director for Mobilization and Reserve Affairs, U.S. Southern Command, Doral, Florida. Ms. Cynthia Holing, Technology Innovator who has devoted their life to create outstanding experiences for customers and boost revenue for companies around the world, and Mr. Rick Beasley, Executive Director of South Florida Workforce Investment Board. Please let's give them a hearty round of applause. Thank you and please be seated. Now it is my distinguished honor to welcome to the, to the podium Major General Rafael Rivas, who serves as the Deputy Commander for the Mobilization Reserve Affairs U.S. Southern Command, Doral, Florida. Major General Rivas has served in various key leadership commands and operational assignments in the 53rd Infantry Brigade Combat Team, the Florida Joint Force Headquarters, and the 207, sorry, and the 207. In 2007, he took command of the 2nd Battalion, 124th Infantry Regiment, while concurrently serving as the State Partnership Program Coordinator for U.S. Southern Command. Major General Rivas was commissioned through the University of Miami Reserve Officer Training Corps Program. His education include a degree, a bachelor's degree in chemistry and a bachelor's of arts a degree in history from the University of Miami. He has a master's degree from strategic studies from the U.S. Army War College and is also a graduate of the U.S. Air Force Air War College. It is a great honor and a privilege to have with you here and welcome to this ceremony. One of the things that we try to do in Atlantis University when we bring speakers throughout our graduation is to ensure that our graduates can look to their future and see their contribution with leaders, not just in the civilian sectors, but also our military. So I would like to now welcome Major General Rafael Rivas to the podium. Well, good evening. And thanks for having me. So distinguished guests and family members of our graduates, thanks for taking the time and uh, participating in this auspicious ceremony with them. Today we participate in a tradition of congratulating new graduates in their respective career fields. As they get ready to begin that journey, applying what they have learned during their time here, I want to thank you all for allowing me to be a participant in this milestone event in their, or more specifically in your, lives. It is said that the measure of a person is not where they stand in moments of comfort or convenience, but where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. These individuals are meeting those challenges head on. Motivated to further their education, 
with the aspiration of taking that education and moving their careers and their lives forward into what I am sure will be a rewarding future. Although currently serving in uniform as the Deputy Commander for Mobilization and Reserve Affairs at U.S. Southern Command, I am also a Florida National Guardsman. So I mention this not necessarily to recruit anybody, although if anybody's interested, talk to me afterwards. But I mention this because I also have a civilian career in addition to my military career. I recall the commitment of working towards my bachelor degrees as a full-time student also trying to hold down a job to pay expenses and then getting my master's degree while I was a professional in the professional world in my civilian career. I applaud all of you for your efforts and sacrifices in completing your degrees. I'm sure that they will pay off as you progress into corporate America or wherever else you intend to apply your craft. At each facet of my life, as I advanced my education, I recall the excitement of what it meant with respect to my civilian career. I pray that you all share that excitement as you look forward to your next steps. The completion of your degree serves as an example to your colleagues, your friends, and your loved ones. It speaks volume of your character that you've accomplished this goal. Your character is what got you here today. It's what defines you and to some degree was inspired by other people in your life. Somewhere along the way, someone inspired you to commit to something greater than yourself, whether your mother, father, a peer, possibly a school teacher. Whoever or whatever it was, I commend them for helping you to make the decision to further your education. I am sure that soon you will find yourself engaging and leading other professionals in this era that requires ingenuity and adaptability in a fast-paced and constantly changing environment. For the family members here today, thank you for the support you have provided these graduates. I encourage you to sustain that support. Families often bear a great sacrifice when assisting those working to better their lives. Today our graduates, or I should say to our graduates today, Remember that this moment is not, about, not just about honoring your success, but also the commitment, sacrifices, and support that your families provided to help you get to this point. None of us can succeed alone, to be sure, so be sure to thank that person or persons in your lives that enabled you to be here today. Eleanor Roosevelt once said that the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Tonight, you realize a dream by graduating. As you leave here this evening, ready to turn your hard work and your dreams into reality, I pray that you never lose the will to learn. You reached one goal when you earned your degree, but remember this is an intermediate goal that has been prepared for you, that is preparing you to take the next step. As you leave tonight to seek to make a difference in life, as the knuckle-dragging infantry officer that I am, I'm going to surprise some who have served in the military before by asking you to ponder a poem by the philosopher and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson. It reads, to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics, and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a better place, whether by a patched garden or redeemed on a social condition, to know even one life is breathed better because of you. That is to have success. So OK. Getting back to my knuckle-dragging infantry officer mode, it's about that time for me to get off stage, but I'll leave with a couple more words. I remember almost all of my graduation ceremonies many years ago, more years than I'd like to admit. My parents' pride, my girlfriend at the time, who's currently my wife, all of the smiles and the hugs, funny, 
I have no recollection of who the guest speaker was. So, let me end my comments with just a few things that I believe will help you as you move forward. I mention them to soldiers when I speak to soldiers. What I will relate to other soldiers and what we call scar tissue. A few things that I have learned in my career. I would start by saying listen to your non-commissioned officers, but in this case, listen to those that you will supervise and or work with or for you. In many cases, they have more experience than you. They might have been around for some time and know a thing or two. You may not want to hear this, especially after all the hard work for those degrees that you're receiving. I know this may be a bit of a disappointment for some of you, but upon graduation, following this ceremony, you will not wake up tomorrow with any intuitive special powers. For better or worse, you will be the same person or knucklehead that you are today. But yes, you'll have a degree. Remember that success in many cases begins with the environment created by leaders. So always strive to do the right thing. Engage with and mentor your future team members. And also allow yourself to be mentored by your leaders as well as your peers and subordinates. Look around you, you will find three types of leaders. You'll find pundits. Those are the ones that are quick to complain but rarely have a solution to the problem. You're gonna find train conductors, those that will just keep things going, moving forward. And then they're gonna find the GSDs, those who get stuff done. Strive to be within that group and you will succeed. So in closing, again, thank you for including me in this celebration of success. A special thanks to Atlantis University's team for your unwielding commitment to your students. To the family members here today, thank you for the mentorship and support you provided your graduates and the determination to succeed that you instilled in them. I wish each and every one of you much success in life. Congratulations. Thank you, Major General Rivas. Your message to our graduating class this evening, it is an inspiration for them, for them and also for all of us here today. Uh, Major General, please come forward. We have a certificate of appreciation in recognition for your service and for your time given to Atlantis University today, uh, Bianca. Director of International Affairs, please come forward to issue the certificate. In recognition to Major General Rafael Rivas, Deputy Commander for Mobilization and AMP Reserve Affairs, in appreciation for your service and dedication to the Mobilization Reserve Affairs and in grateful recognition for inspiring the Atlantis University Class of 2022 as the commencement guest speaker. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Just a few days ago, our graduates congregated at a very special event known as Cap and Gown Day. During that day, they had the opportunity to share some moments of excitement, encouragement, and reflecting that we now share with you today. Now we'll begin to share a video with you guys for the experience that many of them had a few days ago. So please let's share the video.
My experience with Atlantis University has been one of the most um, amazing experience. Mentors uh, gave me the knowledge that I needed for my, for make my goals, my dreams. It was really nurturing to study in Atlantis University because all my classmates and now my friends, they came from different places and from different backgrounds. Uh, they're friendly, they are super nice and they're always there to help. I would describe Atlantis University as great. That's, that's the best I can sum it up with. An intimate, um, tech-savvy, um, driven university um, that pushes students um, with one-on-one -on -one interactions um, for the future and the betterment of that individual. I have my best spirit in my life here. And yeah, that's fun. That's, that's finished. <laughs> Uh, this is part of my family, the, 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 cool, though, the cool stuff here. Uh, everybody here have helped me in doing a, a lot of stuff and encouraged me to go further and further. Starting working in representing the Atlantis University Women's Soccer Team has been the best experience that I have in my life. Realmente definiría la experiencia de estudiar en Atlantis University como una gran oportunidad de seguir creciendo como profesional. La experiencia fue muy satisfactoria, fue muy buena, excelente. Gratificante, con muy buenos docentes para la formación académica. Una experiencia súper maravillosa, se las recomiendo a cualquier persona que quiera estudiar. Excelente clase, excelente profesores y excelente material de estudio. Fue fantástica, mucha experiencia, mis catedráticos excelentes. Y los profesores han estado súper dedicados en mi aprendizaje y pendientes de mí. En grande, espero que todo sea grande, en la compañía de Papito Dios, me siento bien complacida. Que estoy muy agradecida, hasta el día de hoy es excelente. I chose Atlantis University because the class were small and I think that personally uh, the classes were going to be like more personalized. For me Atlantis was like a place where I feel like a family, where I can learn. My classes uh, majority are online so um, they're very effective by the time I can work, I can study, I can uh, you know attend my son. Yeah I definitely will describe it as multicultural. It is good because you can learn from different cultures. Um, make different friends, um, learn from them. And also the most important thing I learned uh, knowledge about uh, everything in hospitality. I feel like they brought real world experience to their students. And it was just it was just great. And not only them but the students were were awesome as well. This knowledge that I have I'm I'm well and very prepared to, to go to the market labor and have a better performance in the, in the business world. And uh, I, I think I will just advise all international students to do masters in information technology, whatever the program here. Uh, just come open mind, open heart, and ready for a great step in the right direction to your future. Que todo aquel que esté interesado en estudiar y hacerse de un profesional en el futuro, consulten a Atlanta University. Siempre es importante dar el primer paso. Eh, yo lo hice, yo lo di y me siento muy a gusto de los resultados que he conseguido gracias a la universidad. No duden en hacer lo que quieren. Al principio lo estaba, lo estaba dándole como espera, pero es tomar la decisión y empezar. Que lo hagan lo antes posible y que tomen la decisión de estudiar. Es lo mejor. No hay obstáculo para superarse. Yo soy madre, en especial de un niño autista, y, y no me ha impedido llegar hasta donde estoy. For everyone, let's keep moving forward to this next uh, chapter. And to my family and my friends, thank you for all your support. It started off here in the university, but it will last, it will last a lifetime. We really thank, thank our everyone. everybody and our family for support this yes, for family. Helping us to come to USA and uh, achieve our dreams yes. uh, in graduating. Yeah. Well, don't give up and uh, never just 
keep on going with whatever your dreams are and, and do your best in order to, to get it. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce our next distinguished honor guest to the podium. I would like to introduce Mrs. Cynthia Holin, a woman who has conquered the world of retail technology, innovation, and for more than 20 years she has created omnitailing solutions that bring great shopping experiences to consumers across channels and platforms. Dr. Holland served as U.S. President of ESW, and prior to that role, she was the CEO of K-Strat and K-Strat Ventures. She serves on the boards of retail and e-commerce technology companies around the globe and holds a BA from Bernard College and an MBA from Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. And Dr. Dr. Holland, it is a great honor to have you here with us today. Dr. Holland, if you please come to the podium. Thank you, I'm gonna turn my little stopwatch on because I don't have a clock up here. Thank you all for inviting me to be here. Thank you to the faculty of Atlantis University and congratulations to all of you. You are graduating into an amazing time. You picked a fascinating time to be going through school and to be putting, figuring out all of the things that you've had to figure out over a world-changing last couple of years while you've been in school. There's a famous curse I'm sure you're all familiar with that says, may you live in interesting times. I personally don't think that that's a curse. I think that it's the most fascinating opportunity to be in to have such disruption and such innovation. And I think that you've, you've lived in the last two to four years while you've been in school in probably some of the most interesting and disruptive and innovative times in the last hundred years of our civilization. And those are things that are gonna serve you uniquely well as you go forward and see opportunities that your peers who graduated before and after you are not gonna ever be able to reap. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what that means and how you can take advantage of it. From your perspective, while we've all been out there you know, trying to figure out how to navigate this world, you've been going through a process that generations before you have had a regular cycle of school. You go to school, you go to class, you do all the things that everybody does on a routine basis, and all of a sudden, most of you either started school in the middle of a completely different world, or you were already in school during a completely different world. And I'm sure that some of these things seem very small to you because they were, they were individual details in your lives that were changing. All of a sudden, sometimes my professor's gonna show up on a Zoom instead of in person. All of a sudden, all of my restaurants that I used to go to when I was growing up bring my stuff out to my car. All of a sudden, I'm on video all the time instead of just talking on the phone. Little things that to you have changed your lives, all of a sudden you're, you're taking classes from home or you're, I know it's Miami and we haven't been going from home for a long time, but it's still, you've, you've seen a change in the patterns and opportunities in your lives. What's been happening out here in the business world is that we've all been sitting and watching and saying, huh, all these new employees who are coming into our world, all of these new thinkers have figured out a whole bunch of different things to change the way the world exists, and they're coming out with a completely different set of expectations. Our new customers, our new employees, our new colleagues 
have broken all of the rules and don't even know it. So you actually are in a really unique place where we're all out here wondering how are these people going to come into our worlds and present themselves and show us how to break rules they never took the time to learn that you all have figured out remarkable new ways to change our lives. And it's very rare that a society goes through so many changes so fast and gives us the permission and the opportunity to take advantage of those. And I hope that you can reflect on how valuable that's going to be that you bring that into the world. We're all thinking about whether you all are going to ever come out of the metaverse. We're all wondering if you all go on and just get paid in Dogecoin. We all want to know if you're ever going to go back to restaurants and sit around because we're being told as we read study after study that you all would rather do take out and take it home. So we're waiting for you to show us whether you're going to come back to work in an office. I read a study yesterday that said that 14% of all jobs that are posted on LinkedIn today suggest that remote work is possible, but 50% of the job applications that are being submitted on LinkedIn say that they want to have remote work as a possibility. That's a huge mismatch and a huge piece of, of permission that you are all telling us that we must as employers and we must as your future coworkers and colleagues learn to figure out how to turn into opportunities instead of challenges. And I think that your ability through that to innovate and to harness disruption is going to change the world in so many positive ways, and I'm so excited for all of you for that. I think that when you think about what you need to do in your life and with your career and how you need to embrace those things, I'd like to talk to you about a few things that I wish I had known when I was your age that I would have, I would have, I'm very happy with my life and very happy with my career, but I wish somebody had told me at the time to make sure that you understand to live the life that you want to live and the life that you're comfortable living and not the life that your parents, I'm sorry, or that your friends or that your mentors tell you that you need to live. You know, there are tortoises and there are hares and they're both fantastic. But someone who likes to be methodical about their life and plan things and have certainty and have stability is not the person who's comfortable jumping around and changing things and taking risks. And so many of us do one of those two things because that's what's expected of us. Know who you are and embrace who you are and live your life according to what makes you happy and gives you pleasure because that's what's going to give you the best life and the most success. That said, this is the best time in your life to take chances and the chances that you feel that, can, that are comfortable for you and the things that you've always wanted to do. You're never going to be as single, not all of you are single, but you're never going to be as free, as unencumbered, as tied to homes and children and families as you are right now to take the career risks, to take that job in California or in India, to do that startup, to try working for a nonprofit, to become a soldier, to do all of the things that you fantasize about doing now. Now is the time to do those things, but do them knowing that it's a, towards a path in your life and make sure that if you, when you go into those things, whether you love them or you don't love them, you're taking lessons from those into your future life. This is the best time in your life to take those chances. And from that, please make sure that you fail as often as possible. That's not something that you were ever supposed to do when you were in school, and I'm gonna tell you it's something that I wish I had learned a long, long, long time ago. You cannot succeed if you don't fail, because you're not taking enough chances if you don't fail. Make sure that you recognize when you fail and stop doing the thing that you're doing and don't do it again, but you're not trying hard enough if you're not failing enough and embrace that and celebrate those failures and celebrate that you took a chance in your life. And remember that that's something to be proud of. Also remember to always ask for help. 
This is something that I learned way, way, way too late in my life because I thought that asking for help was a sign of weakness or asking for help was letting people think that maybe I didn't know something and that they shouldn't respect me. And it turns out that people actually love being asked for help and they don't think a thing about you badly for it except you must be so brilliant to be asking them for help. People love giving advice and they love giving real help and make sure that you're asking for help in things that that person can give you and things that are truly valuable for them. Not, hey, can you do my homework for me or hey, can you do this thing for me, but I would like an introduction to such and such or I need advice on how to do this or can you help me get prepared for doing a job interview or think through this career move that I wanna do. Ask for help a lot, people say yes, all the time and it's something that I wish I had known a long long time ago I ask for help all day long now another super important thing to know in your life and in your career and most people don't ever tell you this until you've been working for 10 or 20 years is yes it's super important to know how to take lessons from your subordinates it's really important to know how to manage up Know how to manage your boss. You will get promotion after promotion after promotion if you know how to manage your boss. Pay attention, learn to what your boss is telling you, pay attention to what your boss's problems are and help them solve the things that they need to say. Cynthia, I noticed that you've got a presentation you have to give tomorrow. Would you like me to make sure that you're ready for that? I think that you probably have too many things on your plate. I'd like to take some things away from you. That person is getting promoted tomorrow. Learn how to manage up with respect and with force and with confidence. It'll take you a long, long way. And I think that um, the last thing I wanna leave you with is that many of you here are engineers. A lot of you have studied business and math and science and that is what we all desperately need in this world and we need you to be engineers and we need you to be scientists and we need you to be thinkers but we also need you to remember that that world only blossoms when you're doing it in conjunction with people. So as comfortable as you wanna be in that world, knowing how to communicate what you've learned and what you think with your team, with your staff, with the rest of the world that you wanna share what you're doing with is gonna make you so much more powerful. And the, the easiest thing to do with that is to learn how to listen really well. It's easy to want to share all of the things that you want to talk about all the time, but people hear you much better when you're listening to them first. So smile more, talk less, as Mr. Hamilton said. I wish you all tremendously successful lives and I congratulate all of you and your parents and your friends and your teachers. Great job. Thank you so much for what you're gonna to give to us. Um, Dr. Holland, thank you. We appreciate and not only that advice apply for our graduates, but I think it applies for, to all of us. I think we, we, we got to listen a little more. We always have to figure out what can we do to make things better, to improve. Um, now I would like to, I'm sorry. Somebody move my pages. I think you did. <laughs> I was trying to see where was I. You did? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I was trying to figure out what happened. <laughs> very, very, very good. See? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Holland, for your inspiring words. To our graduates, please uh, come forward.
and we also like to have Mr. Andy Palacios, Director of Operations for Atlantis University, to issue to you a certificate of appreciation. Andy? In appreciation for your service and dedication to the entrepreneurial and technological industry and in grateful recognition for inspiring the Atlantis University class of 2022 as the commitment cer ceremony speaker given at Atlantis University, Miami, Florida. Thank you. One of the things that most universities do is that they have one, maybe two speakers, but as you know, we're not like any other university. So we have a third speaker with us today, and I think this speaker is something that many of you should get to know him personally, because he is the executive director of the South Florida Workforce Investment Board. And in case you're not familiar with what the South Florida Workforce stands for, really is employment. And every one of you are sitting here today graduating with the degree that you're going to receive. But the whole idea is for you to either get a job or get a better one. So now, uh, it is my distinguished honor to welcome to the podium our guests, Speaker, Executive Director of South Florida Workforce Investment Board, Mr. Rick Beasley, who has served as the Executive Director for the South Florida Workforce Investment Board and Career Source South Florida since August of 2005. In this position, he oversees workforce programs in Miami-Dade and Monroe counties with an operational budget of 75 million. He is in charge of one of the nation's most dynamic melting pots, a diverse socioeconomic region. His vision for Career Source South Florida is to create a model for the nation by establishing a world-class talent supply chain that foster economic growth. Mr. Rick Beastly, please come to Good evening. No, 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 no. Let's try that again. God has blessed us to be able to get up, walk, talk, and move, but also to celebrate you all to graduate this evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right, all right. Uh, I want to first take this time to thank President uh, Polaris and my good friend Maya for allowing me to be a guest speaker for you all. It is truly my honor uh, to celebrate you all. And I'm going to use the words of Elizabeth Taylor as she told her seven husbands, I will not keep you long. All right. <laughs> so let me share with you, almost certainly you all have been anticipating this day from the time you walked into class, hoping and looking and looking forward to your graduation. You've been anticipating, you know, walking across the stage, what you will wear for the evening, uh, what's going to be the next step afterwards. And two or three of those questions have already been answered as the day has progressed. That remaining question is, what do we do going forward? The uncertainty of the future may be intimidating for many, but not for this graduating class. Atlantis University is the home of nonconformists and free thinkers. Your selection of this school with nonconformity as a slogan revealed a great deal about your character and your drive for success. Many of you all have either been or young millennials or members of Generation Z, 
or even some of those, I won't say uh, the older generation, but you have been labeled daring, opinionated, and unorthodox. And I will share with you as an older, more experienced gentleman, I can tell you that is exactly what is required in today's ever-changing world. You need to help yourself to propel in moving forward to be focused, motivated, determined, and particularly when confronted with challenging opportunities, these require innovation and unconventional solutions. The success I've achieved is directly linked to the aftermath, uh, after, after mentioned characteristics. Similar to many of you, I've chosen a school that corresponds with my personality. My bachelor's degree is from Lincoln University. My master's is from University of Missouri. Both of those institutions have the tiger as their mascot, which is described as being unpredictable, since serene, warm-hearted, but most importantly, fearsome. And oftentimes, we are ready to align with our determined, uh, destined path. We simply need to choose if we're going to participate. As the Executive Director of Career Source South Florida, I have the privilege to witness the stories of many young folks striving to realize their dream. And in some cases, I've had the opportunity to participate in sharing and investing in that small part of achieving their dreams. Along the way, I've noted a few things, and I want to share just three simple things with you all. The world is not always going to be fair. The people I have met throughout my years have faced some of the most difficult situations life has to offer. However, they did not, they did not allow the beginning of that book to destroy the rest of their story. When presented with opportunity for change, they seized it. They committed to doing whatever it was necessary to change the narrative and steer themselves forward for the future they wanted. Likewise, many of you have experienced determined, have experienced tough situations in your life. There were times when you wanted just to quit, but you reminded yourself of the commitment you made not only for yourselves, but for your families and for your future. Keep that fire. The world needs your ideas. It needs your motivation. It needs your uniqueness. It needs your vision. But most importantly, it needs your talent. Number two, be unrelenting in pursuing your goals. Consider that the only that you pursued this last four years in a very short time period to begin your academic journey, yet you have arrived at this time of your life, your graduation. Recognize that the time is valuable. It's a valuable resource that you cannot reclaim if you waste it. Put the vision in writing, make it clear, pursue it, and do everything you need to achieve it. Number three and last, you are the creator of your story. You can choose whether to conclude each sentence of your life with a period or a comma. Life can be and will present unexpected situations. You have the option of ending that path with a period and accepting those situations as they are. On the other hand, you can choose to place a comma there, pause for a while, examine your choices, and continue writing once you have the fortitude to do so. You all are graduating in a time, honestly, that is robust. I really don't care what the pundits say in terms of whether or not it's going to be a recession. You're graduating at a time that job growth is at its highest. The unemployment situation for you all is wide open. On an annual basis, the Florida Department of Education, I mean, the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity releases employment projections. So let me share with you real quickly. Here in Dade County alone, 40% of the job growth in this community are high wage and high growth. And those occupations span in terms of the healthcare industry, information technology, and finance. 
So your matriculation at Atlanta, Atlanta's university has prepared you for this job growth expansion. It really is up to you to take the fortitude to confront those opportunities with tenacity. So let me close with this. Steve Jobs once said, don't be strapped with dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your own heart and intuition. They somehow already know what, what you want and what you want to achieve. Everything else is secondary. So keep this in mind as you're running your race. Pursue your dreams, write down your story, be committed to your community, and love your family. Atlanteans, your time is now. Graduation is you. You're the free thinkers, the nonconformists. You are the graduating class of 2022. Congratulations. I was just checking to make sure I didn't lose any of my pages. <laughs> I made sure I didn't take them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for such in inspiring words for these new professionals entering Miami's workforce from today into the future. Now I would like to have Mrs. Bianca Palacios, Director of International Affairs, to come forward to issue a certificate of appreciation to Mr. Rick Beasley. Executive Director of South Florida Workforce Investment Board, in appreciation for your service and dedication to the South Florida Workforce Investment Board, and in, gr in grateful recognition for inspiring the Atlantis University class of 2022 as, the, as one of our commencement guest speaker. Given Atlantis University, Florida, this 15th day of December, 2022. Thank you to all of our great speakers. Each one of you bring a special blend of information and experience to inspire our class of 2022, but also us here to continue our jobs as educators. And now I would like to bring somebody that some of you may know. I now present the graduate speaker from the School of Business. I give you Andres Nicolás Calderón. Andres, please come forward. Okay, well, good evening, distinguished Atlantis University authorities, guest speakers, uh, faculty, staff, friends, family, and graduates. My name is Andres Calderon, uh, and I'm here uh, graduating from the MBA program. Um, it is a true honor for me uh, to be here standing, addressing you all uh, on such a special occasion. Congratulations, class of 2022. We did it. Yeah. Uh, so I would like to, to start off by taking a moment to thank all the wonderful people that have made this journey possible. Uh, starting with our loyal supporters and biggest fans, our families and friends. Without you, this great achievement would not be possible. So thank you for supporting us unconditionally along the way. Please, let's give them a big round of applause. Also, on behalf of the student body, I would like to uh, thank the AU faculty and staff uh, for all your dedication and hard work to make our educational experience unique and memorable. Um, to the faculty, um, 
A special thanks for uh, your constant guidance and support throughout this journey. We see you not only as our teachers and colleagues, but also as lifelong mentors. Um, so upon completing a master's degree at AU, uh, I feel fortunate to have gotten everything I hoped for and more. Not only have I become a more well-rounded uh, professional, empowered with uh, knowledge and skills, but also a more culturally rich individual with a broader perspective uh, of the world. I will always be grateful for the experience of studying at a truly diverse uh, and inclusive institution. And I am confident these words uh, resonate with all of tonight's graduates. Now, we're ready to take what we have learned uh, and see the good we can do in the world. Decide what our next accomplishment will be and tackle any challenge that comes on our way. Life happens in the blink of an eye. Uh, enjoy the journey, never settle, and most importantly, stay true to your dreams. Uh, so I want to leave you with a quote that has influenced me significantly. Uh, and it goes like this. We've always defined ourselves by the ability to overcome the impossible. And we count these moments. These moments are when we dare to aim higher, uh, to break barriers, to reach for the stars, uh, to make the unknown known. We count these moments as our proudest achievements. But we also, but, but, but we lost all that. Or perhaps we've just forgotten that we are still pioneers and we've barely begun. And our greatest accomplishments cannot be behind us. Uh, that our destiny lies uh, above us. Class of 2022, be grateful, be proud, and celebrate all you have accomplished. Uh, we are now ready to break the barriers of the future and reach for the stars. I wish you the best of luck in your next endeavors. Thank you, and once again, congratulations. Thank you, Andres, and congratulations on your achievements. I would now like to ask one of our graduates from our bachelor's in business. I give you Ms. Lakeita Urieto. Lakeita, where are you? President Dr. Obama, Omar Palacios, family, friends, faculty, staff, alumni, and most notably the illustrious class of 2022. Congratulations and good afternoon. I am truly honored to be one of your student commencement speakers at this year's graduation ceremony. Attorney Michael Josephson once said, take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. This what felt like an endless journey has come to an end. Today, we'll go down in our individual histories as a day of celebration, celebrating not only our victories, but also our failures, because without them, we would not know what it feels like to truly win. Not only are we sitting here as graduates of Atlantis University, but we are graduates who were able to get this far all while going through a pandemic. COVID-19, more like COVID-19, 20, 21, and 22, played a huge part in our academic journey at Atlantis University. Being able to tell someone by their eyes or how they walk and never really knowing what they look like under their mask or dreading the moment your professor asks everyone on the Zoom call to turn on your cameras. 
To think that we achieved all we did in such a COVID-restricted capacity speaks enormous values on the skill sets and the power we all possess. To those who have lost someone during the pandemic, my heart goes out to you and your family. And know today, we are making them proud. Many of us came to Atlantis at different points in our life, whether we entered in on a traditional route or like me, who came in after 23 years of, as a raised in a family and having a career only looking further to pretty much get my education. But we all had similar goals to succeed. Atlantis' mission is to prepare career-minded professionals through quality education and to empower people with the skills that lead them to success. Standing here today, looking at all of us in our caps and gowns, I can say that mission was achieved. To our professors, family, friends, and well-wishers, we would like to say thank you. Without you, this would have never been possible. Graduates, once again, we did it. These bonds we have formed and these lessons we have learned, let's take them with us wherever it is this path may lead. Atlantis, you will forever be engraved in our hearts. Class of 2022, I declare, we came, we saw, and we conquered. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, the moment everyone has been waiting for. Um... You're ready, huh? I know you are. On behalf of the President of Atlantis University, the Board of Directors, and by, and by recommendation of the faculty having reviewed the students' requirements for graduation, I have the honor to present and recommend the 2021-2022 graduation class. These students have completed all academic requirements and are these students have completed all academic requirements and are now eligible to receive their diplomas for the following degrees. Masters of Science in Healthcare Management, Masters of Science in Nursing, Masters of Science in Business Administration, Masters of Science in Hospitality Management, Masters of Science in Information Technology, Masters of Science in Cyber Security. Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology, Associates of Science in Business Administration, Associates of Science in International Business. Acting on the recommendation of the faculty, faculties concerned in by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors, and the President of Atlantis University, I hereby confirm upon each of you the degree earned with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> to start conferring the undergraduate degrees, we want to start 
this part of the ceremony by offering special recognition to the students with honors and levels of distinction. Honors are conferred upon graduating undergraduate students who have displayed a high level of achievement during their careers. As I mentioned, the names, please stand up and remain in your place. So please, as I call your name, stand up. Kuma Lare, Luz Lopez Inegues, please stand up. Milagros de Calidad Sayas Echevarria. Moraima Cortez. Lourdes Alina Toledo Gonzalez. Magna Cum Laude. Uriel Almonte. Carmen L. Ventura. <laughs> Kathy Muñoz Lopez. <laughs> Leandro Enrique Perdomo. <laughs> Maria del Carmen Arroyo Saliva. <laughs> Suma Cum Laude. Valeria Álvarez Arias. Andreina Jimenez. Kishya Suhei Barreto Rodriguez. Paula de la Caridad Ruiz Ricardo. Juraime Molines Molinas Borges. Congratulations on your achievement and your passion for always going the extra mile. Please, another big round of applause for all of them. Now, as I call the school that you graduated from, please stand up. First, I'd like to introduce the School of Undergraduate Studies. For the School of Undergraduate Studies, will graduates of the Associates of Science degrees in Business Administration and International Business, please stand and come forward. Please line up. You're gonna to come to the front, and you're gonna to come to this side, please. These are all the students, Associates of Science degrees in Business Administration and International Business. Dr. Mercedes Inciartes, please to the front to issue the degrees. Also, Professor John Buchanan, if you also can please come to the front, Professor Buchanan. Luz Elena Lopez Villana. And Professor Arthur Lyons. Professor Lyons. Milagros Sayas. Inerio Sarcos. Marelia Álvarez. Congratulations. Héctor Jurado. Yeah. 
Laquita Urieto. Thank you. Um, I would ask Professor John Buchanan and Professor Arthur Lyons to please remain. Uh, Dr. Mercedes, thank you. Now we will continue with our graduates from the Bachelor of Science degrees in Business Administration, Information Technology, Nursing, and Nursing. Please stand up, bachelor's graduates from the bachelor's degree in Business Administration, information technology and nursing. Jose, please call their names so they can come forward. Duken. Keon Collins. Brittany Clifton. Getty Munoz. Carmen L. Ventura. Congratulations. You welcome. Angelica Caguaripano. Moises Salinas. Franco Caraveta. Congratulations. Anastasia Barragán Mota. Romaine St. Louis. Well done. Kitsia Soreli Barreto. Paula de la Caridad Ruiz Ricardo. Andreina Jiménez. Joana Rauta. Well done. Juraime Molina Borges. Congratulations. Maria del Carmen Arroyo. Well done. Katian Mena. Well done. Dayami Lemus. Camil Rosado.
You may be seated. Pueden sentarse. Now we move with our master's degree students. Will graduates of the School of Business from the Master's of Science in Business Administration please stand and come forward. Jose, please call their names. And Diana, graduates of the School of Business, please come forward. Laura Furlaneto. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Before we continue, we'd like to bring Professor Luis de Leon, Professor Valdison, oh. okay, I'm, I apologize. Dr. Mia Merritt, please come forward. And Professor Emperador Perez. And also Dr. Natasha Hampton. Maria Papagayo. Jennifer Montes Osorio. Gilliam Emes Elias Rivera. Carlos Roberto Hernández Estrada. Juliana Romero Arenas. Cecilia Celi Caires Mueller. Bismae Castañeda Carrión. Raquel Hernández Osorio. Pride Weeford. Danielo Botelo Granados. Congratulations, well done. Daniel Alejandro Amaya Bedoya. Laura Contreras Guzmán. Kemi Nevis. Ruth Noemi Velázquez. Maribel Hernández Maisonet. Congratulations. Emilton Antonio Arevalo Acevedo. Gustavo Gutiérrez. No lo tengo. Yo lo quería hacer. Es que lo voy a llamar yo primero. Porque no me está dando cuenta que lo llamamos. No, Paulo Matos. Congratulations. 
Cicel Romero. Andrés Nicolás Calderón de Bronsky. Well done. Congratulations. Nora Pozo. Congratulations. Well Thanks, done. Sir. Well done. Vanessa Maturana Hapa. Celaya Barías Paola. Well done, congratulations. Kelly Cortez. Dimitri Fiersov. Well done, congratulations. Elizabeth Blast. Congratulations, well done. Congratulations, well done. Graduates of the School of Business, you may now be seated. Por favor, pueden sentarse. I now uh, uh, also, our professors, our professors also, you can be seated. Thank you. I would now like to ask Professor Luis de Leon, Leonardo Baldison, and Parnell Dijor in representation of the School of IT to come to the front. Will the graduate of this, graduates of the School of Computer Science, Technology, and Engineering please stand and come forward. Graduates, graduados de la Escuela de Tecnología, por favor, ponerse de pie. Jose and Diana, please call their names. Let me repeat that just in case you didn't hear. Will the graduates of the School of Computer Science, Technology and Engineering please stand and come forward. Jose, please call their names. School Bye. of Computer Science, Engineering, Technology, Surya. Monica Gentili. Narishora Magli. Timur Hadri Diraj. Congratulations. Karnati Bini. Anumonu Akil. 
Dancy Gajala. Aluri Kuti Reddy. Congratulations, well done. Chabia Dula. Congratulations, well done. Edgar Garcia Nieves. Well done. Ethan Dararo. Luisa Fernanda Lopez. Well done. Bupender Singh. Mariano Rodriguez. Congratulations, well done, well done. Abhishek Sin. Congratulations, well done. Rahul Saka. Congratulations, well done. Sayed Taha. Akil Hilton. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Camila Obeyed. Well done. Virginia Flores Delgado. About time, well done. Wilma Vasquez Fonseca. Well done, congratulations. Duncan Kench. Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates of the School of IT. You may now be seated. Por favor, pueden sentarse. I will now ask also our professors, please. Be seated. Thank you. Now I would ask Professors Dadilia Garces, Dixania Soto, and Isaac Kravitz in, in representation of the health of the School of Health to please come to the front. Will the graduates of the School of Health please stand and come forward? Graduados de la Escuela de Salud, por favor, ponense de pie, de pie y vengan hacia el frente. Jose and Diana, please call their names. Graduates of the School of Health. Jaminet Cruz Calderas.
Nicole Riveras. Paola Andrea Morales. Delma López. Alex. Adriana Díaz López. ¿Y quién más? Anastasia Andronovska. Lo vamos a hacer justo después de esta. Ok, got it. Nurbis Rosales Gracias. Leiva. No, no. Bueno, sí, pues acá hay que hacer una nota. Humberto Berrios. Yaileris Pérez Pérez. No, no, está perfecto. Wanda Rolón. Ángel Vega. Gladys Apa. Elieti Rodríguez. Congratulations. Good. Mari Sofía Velasco Castro. Tanisha Rodríguez Alicea. Omaris Soto Rosario. De nada. Cristina Paola Martínez Álvarez. Nicole Cruz Rodríguez. Graduates of the School of Health, you may now be seated. Also, we'll ask our faculty to please be seated. Thank you. We'd like to call from the School of Business and Hospitality Management all the graduates, please come forward. Dr. Alex Lima and Dr. Bert Stewart, please come to the front. Stuart, yes. Thank you. Mia, both. Come forward too. Mia Merrick, Dr. Mia Merrick, please come forward. Thank you. School of Hospitality Management. Eileen Pinango Espinosa. María Carolina Acosta. Joenny Morales Suárez. Congratulations. Well done.
Inna Dovgan. Congratulations, well done. Congratulations, well done. Graduates from the School of Business, Hospitality Management, please be seated. Professors, please be seated. Thank you. Now, I would like to ask, don't go too far, Professor Dr. Mia Stewart, and also Dr. Buchanan, if you could, please come back to the front, Dr. Buchanan. Will the graduates of dual master's degree programs please stand and come forward. Graduados con doble titulación, por favor, ponerse de pie, venir hacia el frente. Jose, please call their names. Narjali Caballero. Yasmari Vega Pacheco. Carlo Rivera. Argenis Payam. Aidaliz Rodríguez Nieves. Janelis Padilla Claudio. Congratulations, welcome. Bárbara Rodríguez. Valeria Figueroa. Darlis de las Aguas. Su Lady Félix Carrera. Carmen Iris Ramos Santana. Leila Rosa Rijos. Shailene Rodríguez Herrera. Congratulations, Colonel. Kenia Saraí Ramos Irizarri. Carla Enid Torres. Well done. Marien Martín González. Diana Cortés Cortés. Olialis Galindez. Leimi Mercado Mateo. In Hesue Anisiem. Felicitaciones. Well done.
Hermes Jacob Peralta López. Lumaris Rodríguez. Moisés Rodríguez. Rafael Barrios. René Rubio. Marlía de Jesús Bardivieso. Mayorga Morales Alba. Gianelis Morales. Laura Araujo. Vivian Méndez. Celica Pérez. Nelian Marí Díaz del Valle. María Alejandra Guevara Padilla. Rafael Pérez Belén. Sidney Vélez Nevares. Jacqueline Colón. Leisla Rodríguez Burgo. Mara Oliveras Jambo. Wilmari Rodríguez Miranda. Felicitaciones. Laura Williams Negrón. Felicitaciones. Sandra Vélez. Felicitaciones. Gilian Emes Elías Rivera. Once again, congratulations to our graduating class. Big hand of applause to our graduating class. Also, let's not forget our families, your families, wives, husbands, brothers, sisters, friends, that encourage you and they are here today to support you all the way through. Please, let's remember them and also give them a big hand of applause. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Muchas gracias a todas esas personas, los papás, hermanos, esposos, esposas, 
que han apoyado para que estos estudiantes estén aquí y se hayan graduado. Muchas gracias a todos ustedes, se lo merecen. Graduates, I have, I have a few words of wisdom to share with you. First, always remember that you are Atlanteans. Second, no matter where you live, I'm sorry, no matter where your life takes you, give fly to your imagination. Third, when you achieve new heights, remember to share your success with your family, your community, and your alma mater. Let us share another round of applause for this great accomplishment. We're almost there. To proceed with our ceremony, Professor Alex Lima will lead the graduating class in the Atlantis University Oath to the profession. As we express our respect to all of the traditions represented here today, I invite everyone to join in celebration the sentiment of the oath. Please, graduates, stand up to recite the AU oath by Professor, I'm sorry, the AU oath to the profession by following Professor Lima's lead. There you are. So good evening, graduating class of 2022. So every time I'm here, I see the power, the energy that comes from this particular moment. So I'm very happy to have the chance to do it because it's a culmination of all your effort, years of support, and it's a, it's a very special opportunity. So this is a very special moment in our graduation ceremony, and I ask you to raise your right hand while I recite the oath. So, um, raise your right hand. I pledge before my peer, and repeat after me, I pledge before my peers, professors and family, that I will embody the highest standards of professional practice to represent Atlantis University in the community and beyond its borders. I will use my knowledge and professional abilities to continue the growth of the well-being in my society. I will act with integrity and ethical manners to safeguard the interests of my shareholders and the community we serve. I will openly express myself without overrunning the rights and the freedoms of others, whoever they might be. I will object and face any dishonest practices, whether or not prohibited by local or international laws. I will take full responsibility of my actions, my mistakes, and limitations. Now let's repeat after me, that's a very special moment, I pledge that I will represent my profession with honor and responsibility. Congratulations. You may be seated. Puede sentarse. Muchas gracias. And now, graduates, please stand up. This is it. All our graduates, please stand up. 
before I continue, because this is going to be really the last act of our ceremony, when you leave and you walk out of here after that, we are going to have group pictures and we want our entire graduation class to come back on stage so we can take pictures of you. So once we complete the ceremony, please stay back so that we can take a pictures and also individual group pictures. So graduates, now, just in case, make sure that your tassels, they are on your right side. Graduates, please stand up again. You can officially move your tassel from the right side to the left side. Pueden mover. Graduates, if you ever forget which side your tassel goes on, remember that you were on the left side over your heart to remind you of your alma mater. Si alguna vez olvidan para qué lado se lleva la boria, recuerden llevarlo del lado izquierdo sobre su corazón para recordarle su alma mater. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments. Felicitaciones en todos sus logros. Without further ado, this will conclude our 2022 commencement ceremony. Graduates, you may now toss your caps. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Felicitaciones por sus logros. Graduates, family, and guests, please remain standing while the authorities, faculty, and staff exit the ceremony. Right this way. <laughs> 